I'm just gonna cut to the chase here. I'm getting a nose job. I'm getting my surgery done with Dr. Gavami here in Beverly Hills. Finesse shaping, enhancing the already present anatomical beauty and harmony that already exists with her. So we're gonna make sure we don't mess anything up, make anything worse. We're gonna do some subtle things, so let's go and talk about it. We've already injected, so it's a little puffy right now, but you can see how this is very shallow. We wanna keep it deeper. I can't open my f eyes. If you can see it sticking out right here, she has them wrapped in gauze. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It feels so crazy to finally sit down and turn on my camera and talk to you guys again. I haven't filmed a video in over a month now, and I know my last video on YouTube was posted about two, three weeks ago, I believe. But that video was pre-filmed, those like surgery videos were pre-filmed. So it's literally been over a month since I've sat down and talked to you guys and it just feels so crazy. I feel so distant from you guys. But I've been really trying to make it a habit to be more active on my Instagram story. Even on Instagram I haven't been active. I've only posted like two pictures in one month and you guys know I'm way more active than that. So I just had major cases of FOMO. I literally feel like everybody's like doing stuff and I was just like sitting here chilling and it just feels so good to be back on YouTube. So as you guys can tell by this title, today I'm gonna to be doing an update video on my rhinoplasty journey. So I am about five weeks post-op. I'm filming this on Sunday. So tomorrow it'll officially be five weeks since I've gotten my nose done. So I got my nose done on January 28th. It is now March 2nd. Tomorrow's gonna be March 2nd. So I just wanted to update you guys on how I've been feeling the last time you guys saw me with my nose the day after surgery. So you guys haven't seen the whole recovery process. So I've been getting a ton of DMs on Instagram saying, Nas, we miss you. And that just feels really good to be missed. You know what I mean? So thank you guys so much for all of the supportive messages. I appreciate you guys so much. And I'm gonna get more into it later on in this video, but my recovery process was not an easy thing. And you guys and your supportive messages and your supportive DMs really just made everything just go way smoother and made me feel a lot better. So I'm gonna start out this video with, again, the last time you guys saw me was a day after surgery, I had the ice packs on my eyes. I didn't show my face because I was honestly very, very insecure of the way I looked. And guys, I looked beat up after surgery. I know there's plenty of rhinoplasty videos here on YouTube, but I can only, I've can i only seen like one or two videos where people looked as bad as I did, guys. I had very big bruises all around my eyes. Like I was like purple, okay? And I had blood in my eyes. So like the entire white part of my eyes on the outside were red and filled with blood. Um, looking in the mirror was really hard. I was very swollen. I almost didn't recognize myself. Like I, I'm very, this experience, I'm kind of all over the place. I wanted to like list out bullets but I was like, nah, I'm just gonna turn on the camera and speak from the heart. It was not an easy process. And you know, Mel and my mom and my sister and everyone who like knows me personally knows that it was pretty difficult for me. But I don't wanna scare you guys. I don't want this video to scare you guys from getting a rhinoplasty if that's what you wanna do. Because like, here is how I look at five weeks. I should have showed this at the beginning, but here's what I look like at five weeks. I love the way my nose looks, okay? I absolutely love it. And I still have a year to heal. For nose jobs, it takes about a year to fully heal. And I'm only one month out. and I'm honestly cool if my nose like stayed like this. Like I absolutely love it. So here's from this side, but then I love the front. Like the front looks exactly how I want it to look. As I was saying, I don't want to scare you guys from getting surgery if that's something that you want to do. I would go through this process again. Like I would totally go through it again to get the results that I got. I'm very, very happy that I did it. I don't regret it whatsoever, but Beware, everybody's recovery is different, okay? My recovery and the other person's recovery is going to be, with the same surgeon, can be two completely different experiences, okay? Everybody is different. Everybody heals different. So don't take what I'm saying and expect it to happen to you because, again, I watch all these rhinoplasty experience videos and no one really looked like I did except for, like, two girls. Or maybe they did, and because they look like that, they didn't record the way they look, like, to be honest. But I... I don't want to, but just because I'm tr I'm just trying to be as raw and real with you guys as possible. I'm going to show you guys what I look like the day after surgery, okay? <sighs> Looking at this picture, I'm just shocked that that's me. I've never seen myself look that way. It was very difficult, again, to look in the mirror. Um, I had those dark bruises under my eyes for... I think it took two and a half weeks for the bruises to go away, but I still have dark circles. So that's something I didn't know about surgery. That's something that no one really ever told me until I started Googling it. And I was like, oh, so this is pretty common. A lot of people get under eye hollowness and darkness after a rhinoplasty. So I talked to my surgeon, Dr. Gavami, and he told me that 
for me, it might take about three months for my dark circles to go away. I never really had problems with dark circles. So it's very weird for me because now like when I don't wear makeup, I feel the need to put on concealer. And I used to not feel that way. I used to not feel like I had to cover up my under eye circles because I didn't really have them. But yeah, I have to deal with pretty dark under eyes. I mean, you guys can't tell because of the lighting and the contour and the highlight and all that I got going on right now. But without makeup, I do have pretty hollow under eyes. So I always look tired now, which kind of sucks. But again, my nose is on fleek, so whatever. Also, the blood in my eyes, like the two and a half week mark, that was when everything kind of switched. I was very, I'm not gonna lie, I was very upset like the first week or two not that i was upset with my results because i knew i just watched enough of these videos to know that like it takes time with rhinoplasty you have to be patient and that's something i really want to stress to you guys if any of you guys are interested in getting rhinoplasty you're not going to wake up looking like bella hadid okay it's going to take time you have to be patient and i know this whole stigma around plastic surgery is like only insecure people get surgery da, da, da. honestly i'm gonna keep it 100 if you have self-confidence issues and self-esteem issues do not get surgery okay do not because if you do you're expecting to get this surgery done you're gonna wake up looking beautiful and camera ready and you're gonna look like a supermodel no it doesn't work like that okay it takes time you need to be patient you need to heal from the surgery so honestly this surgery proved to me that i was a lot stronger than i thought i was i knew i was a strong girl but this this journey this operation really i don't want to use operation that sounds like really scary this surgery really proved to me that i am a strong woman okay now some of you guys are probably laughing that i'm saying that but i had to look in the mirror every day looking crazy okay i've never seen myself look this bad before and on top of that i had to deal with thousands thousands of comments telling me that i was more beautiful before that i made a terrible choice that i ruined my face that i'm a fake bitch that la changed me that i'm this and i'm that and i had thousands of people telling me all these awful things about me and not once did i question my character the old Nas would have questioned my character i would have been like damn are these people right did i ruin myself did i do this did i do that i didn't delete any comments i left up all literally go look at my last two videos all hate comments you have to really scroll to find a positive comment I didn't delete that shit. I didn't disable comments. I didn't care. And that was just such a rewarding feeling. That's something that was just an addition on top of me getting the nose of my dreams was proving to myself that I'm a strong girl and that I can handle whatever shit people want to say about me. I still went out in public, guys. I still went out in public with the bandage, bandage on my nose. Still went out in public with my bruises, my red eyes. I had two people DM me like, Nas, I saw you walking around, but I didn't want to come to you because you looked crazy like literally i had people message me that but they were being super nice because i didn't post about my nose job yet so people like the public didn't know yet so i don't know what they thought happened to me but yeah i walked around everywhere with the bruises with the bloody eyes i did it for the first week but i was so tired of sitting in the damn house that i was like i don't care what these people are gonna say okay i'm gonna see these people once in my life and never again until I got the DMs and I'm like, shit. I had some crazy stares from little kids. Like literally, I had little kids like staring at me, like holding their mom's hand, like who is this demon, you know? But I knew, I trusted my surgeon, I trusted myself. I knew that things were gonna get better and they did. Like I'm telling you guys, the two and a half, three week mark was like a huge shift. So the whole week after my nose job, again, I had to deal with these crazy black under eyes, the blood in my eyes, all that stuff. Another thing that was really hard was um, I was coughing up blood a little bit, not too much. Like I would like, you know, you go like, like that. Whenever I do that, blood would come out. Um, I would also, what's something else? Oh, another thing is sleeping. So when you sleep, even after I got the packing out of my nose, which is a whole nother story, honestly, that has to be the worst part. I don't want to scare you guys, but let me tell you, when they take out the little splints out of your nose, oh, it hurts so bad. Mel was watching, like Mel was watching them take it out of my nose and it hurts so bad. And Mel was, this was his face. He was like, oh my gosh. When they took out the first one, he was like, is that a flash drive? He literally said, is that a flash drive? And I was already like freaking out and I didn't want to see what it looked like because she had to take it out the other nose. And I was like, oh my gosh, Mel, oh my God, why'd you do that? Like now I'm freaking out and she has to take out the other one. So when she took out the other one, like, oh, that was just not a good day, okay? Um, my nose, when they took the cast off, I knew because I watched so many videos again that everybody says their nose is crazy swollen when their cast is off. My nose was literally the size of my face. My nose was probably this wide. Like it was not cute at all. But again, I trusted the process. I knew it was just part of the experience. So I was like, okay, 
This is what I look like now. It's only gonna get better from here, okay? I'm just glad that day was over. So again, that was one week after surgery. They took out my splints, but I still had to tape for another week. So I had my nose taped up for another week for 24 hours straight after that. Then they told me after the second week that the third week to only tape at night and I could not tape during the day. But I felt like they told me that because most people go to work, they go to school and they don't wanna walk around with tape on their nose. Me on the other hand, I don't care. I just wanna heal, you know? So I still kept my nose taped up for the three week mark. I still stay taped up for 24 hours. So I taped myself up for an additional week and what taping does is, it um, it's just like compression. Just like when you sprain your ankle, it just holds the skin down so it like reduces swelling as fast as possible. And then also I took Arnica and Dr. Gavami's office actually sells their own like custom Arnica pills. So I bought those from them, continue to take those. I also took Spirulina from Trader Joe's. I also took papaya and pineapple enzymes. I take those every day. And then I also took turmeric pills. Oh, and ton of pineapple juice. I was drinking pineapple juice like it was water. So I still ate a really healthy diet. I couldn't work out for four weeks after surgery. So I knew I couldn't exercise and I did not want to put on weight. So I still made sure to eat a very healthy diet. I wasn't like pigging out just because, you know, I, was, I wasn't feeling good. Like at the four week mark, which was last week, that's when I started feeling good, okay? So the four weeks was up. I could go to the gym again, which that honestly made me feel so happy. I got to see Rachel again. You guys know I love my trainer. She's like a life coach at this point. She's more than just a personal trainer. So that made me feel really good. I felt a lot better on the inside, which in turn made me feel better on the outside. Oh, and then also I wish I made notes. I should have like bulleted like at this week this happened, but I don't really think you guys care all that much. I feel like you guys just want to like see an update from me and see what's up. So also with the whole dry mouth thing, so when I would sleep, I would have crazy dry mouth the first two weeks. Even after they took the splints out my nose and I could breathe from my nose, easier i still for some reason it was hard for me to breathe through my nose now i breathe through my nose perfectly like for the first three weeks i would have to sleep with my mouth open not purposely but you know i would just do it in my sleep and i would wake up with the driest mouth it was awful like my eyes would be dry my mouth would be dry my throat would be dry my skin just everything was dry it was like the sahara desert okay so make sure you guys have dry mouth spray a lot of brands sell them i'll link down below the one i use but i would keep it on my nightstand table and sometimes i'd wake up in the middle of the night have to chug some water and spray my mouth and then go back to sleep so yeah make sure you guys have your dry mouth spray handy my surgeon also at his office he offers um post rhinoplasty facials so i got one so basically what they do is um, when you're taping, you get crazy blackheads, okay? Now my blackheads are gone, thank goodness, but because I was taping and all the oil would get trapped up um, under the tape, my blackheads were like moon craters, like they were like this big. So they have a esthetician there who specialized in post rhinoplasty facials. So she went in, she popped all of them for me, it didn't hurt at all. She like just really took really good care of my skin and we did red light therapy to help with the swelling and then also they did a lymphatic drainage massage to help the swelling go down. So yeah, that really helped a lot in just taping, um, drinking lots of water, taking my Arnica pills. Make sure you need Arnica pills if you're gonna do rhinoplasty. Like make sure you guys have those. Rhinoplasties aren't painful, okay? So don't be scared of the pain. They're just uncomfortable. But to me, it's worth it to be uncomfortable for a week or two to you know get rid of an insecurity that's bothered me for so long and like now all my pictures i'm literally like side profile like yes look at my nose bitch like literally all my pictures i'm like side profile because i used to not like my side profile and now it feels so good to like get rid of your insecurity i'm not trying to promote surgery at all guys i've said this in every video i'm not here to push surgery on anybody but it, i think that it's worth hearing the opinion of someone who's actually got it done because i feel like all these opinions we have on surgery are from people who've never gone anything done before so you know i feel like it's different to hear from someone who's actually gone through the experience versus someone who's never even like gone and done and they're just like talking shit about it so i personally it was a great experience for me after i got through the uncomfortable phase i'm so happy i did it like this is something i've wanted to do for years and i'm so proud of myself i really am i'm proud of myself that I shared this with the world. This was a very personal subject with me. Since October, I've just been contemplating every day if this was something I want to share. I'm not even kidding. I was like, do I really want to share this? Because I'm going to be honest. Honestly, I feel like if I didn't share this experience and just pre-filmed videos to post for this month, I don't think anybody would have noticed. 
I truly don't think anybody would have noticed because the way my nose looks now is how I face tuned it all this time. Dr. Gavami did that. Like he did that, okay? He literally gave me everything that I asked for. He didn't do too much to the point where he changed the way I look. I still feel like myself. And now that I got through that very uncomfortable phase and the very like I was looking crazy phase Now I'm at that point where I feel good. I'm ready to get back to work I'm ready to start taking pictures again. I'm ready to start, you know, doing YouTube again I'm ready to start being more active with you guys and also this point where I was kind of just you know chilling this past month I've been doing a lot of thinking like I have a ton of video ideas and I just feel re-motivated It made me realize I'm like damn if I don't have YouTube I'm bored like i'm bored okay so i love you guys you guys keep me entertained you guys keep me alive so i'm just i can't wait to start filming again and just being more active with you guys i literally felt like i just like felt so disconnected maybe i should do an update again at like six months if that's something you guys want but hopefully if any of you guys are interested in getting rhinoplasty my videos helped you guys out and thank you so much to dr gavami and his team for making my experience so great and thank you dr gavami you are a true artist you gave me the nose that i've always wanted and i'm just really really happy with everything and I love you guys so much and again thank you to everyone who sent me very supportive messages and thank you to the people who even if you didn't agree with my decision which is completely fine thank you for still being respectful and not using that as a way to like knock me down because at the end of the day i believe if you're going to be body positive or a feminist or any of that sort you need to support women of all body types and that comes with body types that are done i don't think you can call yourself body positive if you only support the natural bodies and i know some people don't want to hear that but i believe body positivity is being positive of bodies of all shapes and sizes regardless if you have work done or not so that's just my two cents and that's just how i view everything and i just know that the rude comments that i did read that was more of a reflection on those people than myself because again i know who i am I know my morals, I know what I was doing, and I'm very happy with my decision. I'm really happy that I didn't let the opinions of others affect my decision. I've had this conversation with a few friends. Like, what is it that I really want to, um, I don't say preach to my followers, but what do I want to stand for? And surgery wasn't it. That wasn't what I wanted to stand for. And I feel like with my past two videos, that's what people are kind of viewing, that I was someone who cared so much about the way I look and my vanity and all that, which I'm not going to lie, I do care about the way I look. I'm sure we, like... I would be lying if I said I didn't care about the way I look. I bet all of us care about the way we look. And there's nothing wrong with women caring about the way they look, okay? I'm tired of women feeling like just because they care about the way they look and that they want to do their hair and do their makeup and get lip injections, that they're suddenly less of a woman, that they're suddenly not smart. They suddenly don't have morals. They suddenly don't, like all that stuff. That's just a bunch of bullshit to me. I think that as women, we should support each other regardless of our decisions. And if we're not hurting anybody in the process, that's all that matters. And I just want to inspire women to just do whatever the hell they want because my situation guys i'm a child of immigrants who came here with literally nothing we, my family lived in a one bedroom apartment we all lived in one bedroom when we first came to america okay i didn't have shit lined up for me but i had hardworking parents who taught me the value of a dollar and they taught me to never give up and to work for what i want i wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth and it might come off like that but that's just because my parents worked so hard to provide for me everything that I wanted. But when I was given these things, it wasn't just like, I deserve them. It was more like, we worked for this for you to have it. I've always seen my parents work from day one. So I'm like going off on a tangent now. But again, I... The fact that I'm here doing what I'm doing, and there's some things that I haven't shared with you guys, which I might in the future, I really want to share some things, but it also involves my family, and I don't know if they want me sharing their business like that, but if you guys knew, like if you guys knew some of the things, you would never believe that I am where I am today. Honestly, it's crazy. The fact that I'm living in LA, that I'm pursuing my acting dream, that I'm have this platform with millions of people watching me and like listening to what I have to say is absolutely insane. And I can't thank you guys so much for the support. And again, that is what I stand for. I just want when you guys to watch my videos for you guys to feel like that you can achieve the world regardless of what you want to do, whether you want to become a actress or model or a doctor or you want to go to college or you don't want to go to college or you want to become the best fucking nail tech in your whole city like i don't care like whatever you want to do i just want you guys to feel like it's at your fingertips and then if you work hard you can do it on that note i'm gonna go ahead and end this video and wash my makeup off i just came home from dinner so yasmin and ponce and mel and i were about to watch 
some movies. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video, but thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe down below for more videos. I can't wait to get back to filming for you guys more often. And I absolutely love you guys so much. And again, just do whatever the hell you want to do and don't let anybody make you feel bad for it. No one's going in the ground with you, sis, but yourself. So take care of yourself, okay? Do whatever you got to do to make yourself feel good. So I love you guys so much and I'll see you again for my next video. Bye, guys. Hold on, let me give you guys a quick look of the nose. Sis went through a lot for this nose, so y'all are going to look at it, okay? Okay, bye.